Here's a good game for Halloween. Thought I'd pull this out. This is a Wardner over in the US. They called it Pyro. So I remember this game quite a bit back in the day. Playing it in, uh, I think they had this at a liquor store a long time ago. This is actually made by Toplan, released by Taito back in the day. Taito back in the day. Pretty ghoulish game. Reminds me of games like uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts in that vein. So, I've got the Mega Drive cartridge, which is actually uh, called Wardner No Mori, I believe, Special. So, it's, I guess it's just a special uh, home conversion. I don't think it's that much different than uh, the arcade, but they, they call this one Pyros here, and then Wardner, I believe, World. So, it's a pretty cool game. Pyro's trick. If I could get do it, if I could do it. This would be a good time to do a comparison between uh, the Mega Drive and the Arcade. The Arcade was running on MAME, but uh, just to get an idea of how good the port is, it, it is a good port. It's one of those uh, 68,000 processor games with the Z80 as the backup sound, so that's pretty much... This should be a good port for the Genesis. It is, so... Start it up. Starts up about the same, except has got a little bit different intro.
course, the wizard's up to no good. Just skip it. You know your girl gets taken. The Genesis one is harder than the arcade. It's a lot more tricky. Maybe that's why they call it special, because it's, it's definitely different. The patterns are different, timing is different. I think that's why they call it special. And I'm dying especially a lot more. <laughs> Trick or treat. And it's definitely a, a trick with this game. <laughs> Alright, no more of that. Enough of the Halloween puns. Anyway, happy Halloween!